What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMGWTF, LOL, FTWBRB, and welcome to episode 62 of Let's Play Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. As you see, we are in the second week of October, and we have just started a new storyline dealing with the Tag Team Championships. Ric Flair and Mr. McMahon, the owners of the WWE, have uh, proclaimed to be the new transitional tag team champions and are now holding a tag team title tournament in which they insist I compete in and ask me to choose a partner, which I chose Chris Jericho. And I think that Mr. McMahon and Ric Flair want me to lose the titles to them, but I I just don't know how I feel about that, nerds and geeks. I'm a, I'm a very loyal person, and when it comes to titles, I'm also a very greedy person i may be the undisputed champion but uh it always uh always means you get a bigger paycheck when you're wearing more gold around your waist if you know what i'm saying nerds and geeks well either way uh tonight on friday night smackdown we have the tag team title tournament as kurt angle and edge will team up to take on rikishi and the big show yours truly will team up with chris jericho to take on chuck palumbo and Kevin Nash and Jeff Hardy and the Hulkster take on The Rock and the uh, Big Red Machine. We're not worried about those other two teams, though, as we got to focus on Chucky and Kevin Nash. DDP, I was looking for you. Well, I have a surprise for you. Follow me. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous! I don't know who's doing that voice. This is what he wanted to give him? How generous! Yeah, this is very nice. Look at this, nerds and geeks. A brand new truck, you know, my family. I he looks happy! I was talking. I'm glad you like it. Maybe that was Stephanie. I'm glad you like it. Well, this is nice. DDP is showing his appreciation. Why am I like... Hey, wait a... Oh, what the hell? That's Chuck! Oh, my God. Chuck is here. Chuck has assaulted him. This was a damn ambush. You know, King might have a point there, nerds and geeks. That could have been an ambush. I don't know, nerds and geeks. That's a little awkward if you think, if I say so. Either way, uh, we seem to have recovered after that brutal attack from Chuck Palumbo. Uh, we could talk to Reverend Devon, but he's either going to get insulted because we won't donate to him, or is going to beg us to donate to him. Seems like we can't play these matches anyway, so uh, our only option is to skip. So who's moving on to the tournament, nerds and geeks? Will it be Angle and Edge, or the Big Quiche and the Big Show? Now look at that, Kurt Angle and Edge are going to move on as Edge was able to beat the Big Quiche. Alright, but now it's time for our matchup, nerds and geeks. And we're just going to be thrust right into it. Remember, Chuck Palumbo did uh, attack us, and let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of this episode, I believe Mr. McMahon and Ric Flair want me to intentionally lose the match to them so they can keep the titles but I don't know like I said I, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that and they may be sensing that Who, I don't know because McMahon said he had a prize a surprise for me and they they bought me a brand new truck it was awesome and I, I, I felt like I was on the Titanic and I was like on the I was the king of the world and then my opponent Chuck Palumbo as you see my tag team partner Chris Jericho making he's a work out of him but a Chuck Palumbo attacking me from behind, nerds and geeks. And as King pointed it out, it, 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 it's very possible that could have been an ambush. Maybe they feel, or you know, they they, they know that I, I, I may be having second thoughts here, and I, I've been considering it, I'm not going to lie. Maybe they set an ambush, but then again, one has to wonder, why would Vince McMahon go out and spend all that money on a truck that he doesn't really care about? But then again, you one has to think Mr. McMahon has a lot, a, I mean, a lot of money nerds and geeks so 
I don't know. Either way, uh, I'm going to be battling Chuck Palumbo now. Get some revenge on this guy. And I really thought I could have picked up the victory there, but Kevin Ash and his long dings, legs. Darn you. I'm not really too worried about Kevin Ash, though, Nerds and Geeks. He probably tore one of his quads by dropping that leg drop, so. For shame, for shame. But basic teamwork here. We witnessed, uh, well, we didn't really witness, but we simulated the match, or skipped it, I should say. And uh, Kurt Angle and Edge are going to be moving on in that tag team tournament, as it seems uh, Big Quiche and Big Show are out. That would have made a pretty good team. We win, though, so that's always great, right? Is there any doubt, though? Kevin Ash is too egotistical to be in a team. And I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Jericho. I kind of fed you to the wolves there. I know. My apologies. But look at Chuck Palumbo. He looks like an idiot now. And Kevin Ash, I told you, he tore a quad. Just laying there on the ground. He was beating you up two seconds ago. But yeah. The team of Kevin Ash and Chuck Palumbo was doomed to fail from the beginning. So uh, we win. And we move on. And apparently so does the uh, Rock and Kane, as uh, the Rock was able to beat Hulk Hogan. Not even Jeff Hardy. Hulk Hogan. But uh, we are now in the third week of October on Monday Night Raw. And it looks like the tag team tournament is going to continue tonight. But uh, not without a singles match, though. Steve Austin will meet the Big Quiche. And once again, we will team up with Chris Jericho to take on the team of Kurt Angle and Edge. We witnessed the move on last week. And uh, The Rock and Kane will be in action against Booker T and he who shall not be named, nerds and geeks. So uh, there's always that. I did show off last week there, but nothing really important. I'm, I did it and it was there. Uh, nothing really too important to show off at all. No storyline progression. No nothing. No... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry about what happened last week, DDP. Nothing from Mr. McMahon. I don't know. I feel like, you know, the, he, he'd kind of be apologizing to me, saying we're going to get to the bottom of it. Either way, uh, Stone Cold's going to beat the big quiche here. And we got a cage tornado tag against Kurt Angle and the uh, rated R superstar Edge. And I decided to leave in both Kurt Angle and Edge's uh, entrance themes because I don't, I'm not sure... If I showed these guys themes off, or these guys entrance off, excuse me. I left them in during the recording, and uh, I, I, if I left it in, I had my reason. I don't show DDP and Chris Jericho, so I don't know. Maybe I felt like I never showed off Kurt Angle with his bald... <laughs> Ever see that Spongebob movie? I wish I could do a better impersonation. Maybe... Maybe instead of me shouting Bob, Bob there, I'll put the uh, the video of Bald in there. Maybe not. I don't know. If I remember, I might be too lazy to do it honestly because it's. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I will honestly. Who knows? Be an interesting little uh, scene. Either way, here comes Edge. I'm pretty positive I showed off his theme already because I've commented on the excellent, oh so excellent theme he comes down to. And if I haven't showed off Edge yet, which I highly doubt that, let me just talk a little bit about Edge's uh, excellent theme here by Rob Zombie called Never Gonna Stop. It is great. I, if, you're, if you're a fan of rock and roll music, if you're a fan of White Zombie or Rob Zombie, whichever you want to call him, check out this song. It is fantastic. Either way, though, we are in a cage match. And I believe I've talked about my strategy in cage matches before. But uh, if not, or if you missed that episode and just forgot, let me uh, reiterate on that, if that's the correct way to use that word. I hope it is. My strategy here is to be practically the last man out. 
While I sit here and dominate Edge or Kurt Angle, I will allow my tag team partner, Chris Jericho, and Edge or Kurt Angle. Doesn't matter who, just one of them. So I'm going to let my tag team partner, Chris Jericho, escape as soon as possible. So I'm going to go after uh, Kurt Angle, but gosh darn it, Edge was going to block it. But, um... Yeah. I'm going to try to let Chris Jericho escape or Kurt Angle or Edge. It doesn't really matter who. But um, once Jericho escapes, that's fine by me. He just needs to escape because both tag team partners need to escape. Uh, I like to have Jericho escape before myself personally just because it guarantees – it makes me – feel like we have a better chance of winning now i'm not relied on relying on a computer who can lose at any moment i'm relying on myself and if we lose it is my fault i don't mind if it's a handicap match or not uh preferably it doesn't really end up being a handicap match as we will most likely see later if uh jericho does not escape but um if it is a handicap match it doesn't really end up being a handicap for match for long because uh, Angle or Edge escape while I beat up on the other one. It does, you know, they do tend to team up sometimes. But most of the time, the other will escape as soon as they can. And it'll just be a one-on-one -on -one match. And it's just up to you to knock your opponent out and climb up the cage. Really not too difficult, nerds and geeks. Steel cage match is a... It's, it's rather simple in all honesty. See, Kurt Angle's going to climb up. I'm not even going to bother stopping him. In fact, I wouldn't even mind if Jericho got up. So I'm going to let Kurt Angle escape. That's fine, Angle. Go right ahead. Uh, right now, though, so we, so we aren't going to get to see the uh, handicap action. I am going to force Chris Jericho up to his feet, though. I didn't mean to knee him in the gut. I certainly didn't mean to take my own tag team partner down there as well. Uh, fearing Edge is uh, going to escape from the cage. Uh, I got a little afraid here, by the way, but Edge is uh, too stupid to realize, realize that he has an opportunity to win this matchup. So um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take him down. Jericho finally up to his feet, and uh, this is where the bad part comes. You see, I would have much rather preferred Jericho escape first over Angle, mainly due to the fact that Chris Jericho is gonna want to beat up on Edge. If Jericho would escape first, I would have just you know kept beating up on the other one while the other one was down until the other one escaped. But now I have to work you know get Jericho to want to escape from the ring and finally Chris Jericho starts to climb so this is just a matter of time in fact Edge is knocked out I think I'm gonna climb with Jericho I think Edge is knocked out to the point where we got this in the bag by the way Chris Jericho did indeed escape from the cage and uh I'm at top and let's climb down Yo, it's me. It's me. And a pretty easy victory as we move further on in this tag team tournament. And uh, it looks like the Rock and Kane as well moved on as they defeated Booker T and he who shall not be named. But that's going to do it for this episode of SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. I hope you enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor. Leave me a comment, a like, and please subscribe if you have not already. As always, Nerds and Geeks, don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends, Facebook, and Twitter to help my channel grow. And as always, my name is OMGWTFLOLFTWBRB, and I will see you, Nerds and Geeks, in our next episode of SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. So until then, Nerds and Geeks, have a wonderful day.